Hi, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm Leslie Fightmaster with Fightmaster Yoga. Today we'll do a total body stretch and strengthening class. You might not be able to see right now, but our little yoga space got a makeover from my friend, Michelle Pons. And I'm gonna put her Instagram information below so you can check out her work. She's really, really talented. So grab two blocks and a strap and something to sit up on if you like, and let's get started. So let's begin with a comfortable seat, sitting with the shins crossed, and then put the other shin in front so we can keep that balanced. And then sit up nice and tall, grounding down through your sit bones. And I do recommend to sit up on something to get the hips a little bit higher than the knees. And then once you are sitting, start to lift away from your sitting bones, widen your collarbones, draw your shoulder blades down away from your ears, and then close your eyes. Now with your eyes closed, begin to come into your ujjayi breathing. So there's a slight constriction in the back of the throat as you breathe in and out through your nose. And this ujjayi pranayama, this ujjayi breathing helps to warm the body from the inside and it also helps to keep the mind focused. And let's take our hands together in front of the heart in Anjali Mudra. Setting an intention. May our practice today help to strengthen our bodies and keep them flexible so that we can be strong and flexible on and off of our mats, regardless of our circumstances. And please add any intention that you would like as well. And then releasing. Let your eyes softly blink open. And we'll come right onto the hands and knees. If you would like to pat up your knees, I'm just gonna move this off. If you wanna pat up your knees, use a blanket or a pillow for the knees. I have a lot of padding here, so I don't need it. But line up your wrists under your shoulders with your knees under your hips, and just warming up the spine. Inhale, bring your chest forward. Lift your chin, lift your tailbone up. Draw your shoulder blades toward the waist. Exhale, round your back, chin toward chest. Pull in the belly. And again, inhale to come forward. Widen across your collarbones. Exhale, rounding the backs. Always linking the breath and the movement. And again, inhale to come forward. Lifting chin, lifting tailbone. Exhale, press away from the floor, pull in the belly. And one more time, inhale, heart comes forward through the gates of your arms. And exhale, round the back and press away from the floor. And now come to neutral. And as you take your next inhale, extend your right leg back and then lift it from your inner thigh. So when you lift the leg, the hip wants to come up, so drop the outer hip down, pull the ribs and belly in, exhale, left arm forward. Take a breath in here, keep the ribs and belly pulling in, and then exhale, slowly bring your elbow and your knee in towards center like you're moving through water. And then inhale, reach it out. Keep dropping the outer hip, exhale, draw in. Again, inhale to reach. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, reach out. Drop the outer hip. Exhale, sweep your left arm back. Bend your right knee. If you can connect, connect. And if you cannot, then don't. Just keep the knee bent. Roll this left shoulder open, but then drop the shoulder down a little bit. Widen the collarbones for three. Keep the belly lifted slightly too. And release that foot, set it down, keep the toes tucking under, and then take the left hand down under the shoulder. Take a breath in, came off my mat. Exhale, draw the left knee into the chest. Inhale, plank, top of a push up. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left knee in. Inhale, plank, pull in your belly, exhale, right knee in. Back to plank, and then back to the knees down. Take a breath here. Make sure the wrists are under the shoulders again, knees under hips. Inhale, extend the left leg back. 
and lift it from the inner thigh again. Drop the outer hip down so that the hip doesn't pop up. Pull the ribs and belly in because the low back wants to arch. So pull it in, right arm forward. Inhale, stretch. Exhale like you're moving through water, draw it in. Inhale to reach out. Drop the outer hip, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend, pin your right hip in as well as the left hip drops. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extending out. Once more, bring it in slowly. Pull the belly in, press away from the floor like you did in your cat pose. Then inhale, release and stretch out. Exhale, swim the right arm back, bend the left knee. And again, oh, somewhere back there it is. If you can connect, connect. Otherwise, hold and just keep reaching back and reaching forward with the foot. For three, pull the ribs in and lift your hip bones towards your lower ribs. Two, that'll keep your low back nice and safe. One more breath. And release it, but extend the left leg back, tuck the toes under. Breath in. Exhale, right knee into chest. Inhale, plank, chest forward, heels back. Exhale, left knee in. Inhale to plank. Exhale, right knee. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left knee. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lift the hips, come into down dog. Make sure the arms are shoulders distance and the feet are hips width. And then, bending one knee and the other, feel free to bicycle the legs. Take a couple breaths here as you're settling in. Then let's bend both knees, stick your buns way up high as if you can touch your belly to your thighs, and then start to stretch the heels down. Whether they touch or not isn't important. Just try and get a nice long stretch through the spine. Pull your ribs and belly in and up. Just two more breaths here. And one breath in. Exhale it all out. Bend the knees, look to the hands and either step or walk the feet forward. As you inhale, come halfway up, lengthen your spine. On your exhale, fold over the legs, bend the knees as needed. Press down through the feet, rise up, inhale. And exhale, samastitihi. Coming toward the front of the mat, big toes together, heels slightly apart or take the feet hip socket distance apart. Press evenly down through the feet, then lift away from the floor and widen your chest, pull in the belly. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips and fold. Hips go back as you come forward, bending the knees as needed. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank. And then let's lower all the way down to the belly. Knees can come down first. Hands by low ribs. Inhale, little cobra. Peel the chest up, draw the shoulder blades toward the waist. Toes straight back and then exhale, tuck the toes, come to down dog. Stretching all the way back. Make sure the heels are right behind the second toes, arms and ears in line and gaze between your knees or feet. Your three. Two breaths. And then one more breath in. Exhale it all out, bend the knees, keep the hips high, look past the fingers, either step or lightly float your feet forward. As you inhale, come halfway up, hands to shins or fingertips. Exhale, fold in, again, bending the knees as needed. Press down through the feet, inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, samastitihi, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and fold, hinging at your hips. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, step into plank, or if you hop back, you can land in chaturanga. Lower from plank, hug the elbows in. Keep the shoulders no lower than the elbows. Then inhale in upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, down dog. For three breaths, turn the outer upper arms back and turn the inner upper arms, the biceps, toward the front of the mat, and then press a little more in the thumb and first finger side of the hand. One more long breath in. 
Exhale everything out, bend the knees and look up, step or lightly hop the feet. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale to fold. Pressing down, rise up, inhale, and exhale to samastitihi. A little technical difficulty, my, my mic came off. Clip it back on there. All right, Syria A again, inhale the arms, exhale to fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, chaturanga, stepping or floating. So if you float, land with the elbows bent, shoulders no lower than elbows. Then inhale to press up. Exhale, let's come back to plank. Either hold it or chaturanga, press straight up to plank and then down dog. Inhale, lifting the right leg back and up from the inner thigh, just like we did in table. Exhale, bring it down the center, press away from the floor. Inhale, lift it from the inner thigh. Exhale again, bring it down the center. Press away from the floor. One more time, inhale. Exhale down the center. Take a breath in here. Now look at your right thumb. Step it all the way up there. Stay on the ball of your back foot, coming into a high lunge. Reach up tall. Bend the back knee. Tilt the pelvis forward a little. Stretch through that back leg and then pull your right hip back. Just a couple breaths here. Let's stretch out this back leg some. Three breaths. Keep the ribs drawing in to stretch up through the back ribs. One more breath in. Exhale. Bring the hands down. Make your way to down dog any way you like. You can go right into it or to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling up. Exhale, plank, either hold it or one more, and then down dog. Inhale, the left leg back and up. Exhale, bring it forward, press away from the floor. Draw the knee in. Inhale, lift it from the inner thigh. Exhale, bring it forward and hold. One more time, inhale, lift it. Exhale, bring it forward. Take a breath. Exhale, step it all the way up by the left thumb. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Come on up into your high lunge. So again, let's bend the back knee. Lift the hip bones up toward the lower ribs. Pull in the belly, pull the left hip back, and then straighten it. Reach through arrow straight arms, but let your shoulder blades relax a little. Triceps are spinning forward. Palms face each other. One more breath. And then exhale, bringing the hands down. Again, go to down dog any way you like. Chaturanga. Inhaling. Upward dog, exhale to plank. Hold or double dip. Chaturanga again. And then to down dog. And breathe. Take just a couple breaths here. Remember, you can always take the knees down and take a break anytime you like. One more breath in, exhale it out, pull the belly in, look up, step or lightly hop the feet. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Let's bend the knees into Utkatasana. So try and get your belly right on your thighs, press the weight into the heels and then arms by ears. Inhale here, exhale, swim the arms back, hook the thumbs or interlace fingers. Open the chest, inhale, keep the belly in. Exhale, fold. Let your head hang down. Shift the weight toward the balls of the feet if the legs can straighten here. One more breath. A shoulder stretch. And then rebend. See if you can reach your fingertips to touch the floor. Keep your back really long. And then arms up. Belly's still kind of on the thighs. One more breath. Now swim it back again, interlace the other pinky or thumb on top, open the chest, inhale, exhale, and straighten. Let your head hang down, shift the weight toward the balls of the feet if the legs are straight. Otherwise, if the knees are a little bent, it's okay. And keep the weight toward the heels. One more breath. And now bend the knees, inhale, sit back, drop your butt down, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Or go right to down dog, skip it. 
Inhaling up, shoulders over wrists, exhale back. Lifting the right leg as you inhale, from the inner thigh again. Exhale, bring it down the center, just for a breath. Take an inhale, exhale, step it up again by the right thumb. Stand the ball of the back foot, coming back into high lunge. Pull the right hip back, drop the tailbone down, lift the hip points up. Take a breath here. And then take your back foot flat. Line up heel to arch and open into warrior two. And then in warrior two, we're going to add Gomukhasana arms. Right arm up, bend your right elbow. Take your left thumb down, bring it behind you. So you're going to interlace, just so you can see what's happening. Interlace or hold on to your shirt or use your strap. Roll your left shoulder back. Instead of looking forward though, look straight ahead. Look toward the long side of the mat. Lift the back inner thigh up, rolling that left shoulder back and reaching the right elbow straight up, spinning the tricep in toward the face. Sink in. Two breaths here, a little lower if you can. Keep lifting the back inner thigh. Take one more breath. Now we're going to hold warrior two a little bit longer, but release the arms and then interlace the fingers or hook the thumbs behind you. Open the chest, inhale, exhale forward. My teacher used to call this one silver surfer. Press into the outer edge of the back foot and into the front heel. Let your head go any amount. Pull the belly in, one more breath. And release, bring the hands to the inside of the right foot. Walk the right foot over a little bit and pick up the back heel. Pull the right hip back. Now you're welcome to take your left knee down for a little more support or keep it off the floor if you're working a little bit harder. Just two more breaths here. Bring the chest forward. And then let's step it back in. Actually, let's straighten the leg first. Pull the right hip back. Press into the base of the big toe of the right foot and bring your right hand on the outside of the foot now. You can always put your hands on blocks here as well. Take one more breath here. Stretch out the legs a little bit. And then rebend so you can make your way to down dog, either through chaturanga or go right into it. Inhaling up. Exhaling back. Here we go, left leg up from the inner thigh. Drop the outer hip down. Exhale, draw it in, press away from the floor. Take an inhale. Exhale, step it by the left thumb. Stay on the ball of your back foot again, come into high lunge. So remember, you want to lengthen through your lower back and pull your hip bones up toward your rib cage. Then try and straighten through the back leg. Reach up through arrow straight arms. Relax through the shoulder blades. Return to your steady breathing. And so one more breath here. Make sure that knee stays right over the ankle. And now take your back foot flat, line up heel to arch. Warrior two. Make sure the knee is pressing toward the little toe side of the foot and make sure to lift this inner thigh up. Then left arm up, bend the elbow, thumb down with the right hand, clasp or hold your shirt or use a strap. Roll the right shoulder back. Lift this left elbow up and spin this tricep toward the face. Come return to the breath. Try and roll the right shoulder back a little. For three breaths, keep the belly lifted and the hip bones lifting. This front hip is drawing down. Two more breaths here. Sink in a little lower if you can. A little lower. And then releasing the arms, keep the knee bent, interlace other pinky or thumb on top. Inhale and exhale to silver surfer. Reach the arms up, press through the outer edge of your back foot, allow your head to hang. Two more breaths here. Keep pressing into that front heel. Stretch out the shoulders. And release the hands on the inside of the left foot. Pick up the back heel. 
Move the left foot over to the left. Bring your chest forward here. Make sure the knee stays over the ankle and press the left knee in toward the shoulder. Remember, you can take your back knee down if you want a little more support. Hmm, keep pulling the left hip back. Lift the belly, stretching out the hips. Two breaths here. And then I'm gonna bring the left hand on the outside of the left foot, a little toe side. You can walk it in a little if you need to. And then straighten that leg. As you straighten the left leg, pull the hip back and press into the big toe mound of the left foot. Remember, you can always put your hands on your, on your bricks if you've got them handy. I just think that it's great to have the props around for whenever you wanna use them. Couple more breaths here. And let's re-bend that knee. Make your way into down dog any way you like. You can go right back into it or chaturanga. Inhaling up, exhaling all the way back. Stretching here. Let's take another breath. And then let's come onto the knees and onto the forearms. Line up your elbows underneath your shoulders. Spread out your fingers. If you find your elbows go out and your hands go in, you always take a brick and take your hands around the brick. You can even use your strap right above your elbows and that'll keep them from moving. Then tuck the toes for dolphin. It's a good stretch in the shoulders. So as you're stretching back, pull in through the belly. Turn the outer upper arms back. And press a little more into the thumb first finger side of the hand. Now step back about a foot. Inhale, ripple your spine forward into dolphin plank. So it gets a little bit tricky because you want to kind of stick your buns up because it's easier. But try to keep your buns in line with your shoulders. And instead of letting your knees bend, stretch them up. For three, press again into the thumb, first finger side of the hand. And two. Take another breath, you've got this. And then walk your feet in, stretch out. And then let's come onto the knees a moment. If you've got your props out, you can put them back off to the side. And then reach the arms forward, spread your fingers back into down dog. And now inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, bring it in. Set it up by the right hand. And then take the right hand again on the inside. Left knee can be up or down. This time, if you wanna go deeper into your stretch, you can take your brick and take your forearms onto it. Or some of you might even take the forearms down to the floor. That's a bigger stretch. But as best you can, I'm gonna use the brick. As best you can, try and not let this outer hip drop down. Try and keep the hips as level as you can. It's not easy, I know. I have a hard time with it. <laughs> so I'm lifting my left hip away from the floor and pulling it back a little. Bring the chest forward. Try and squeeze your right hip into your shoulder. I'm sorry, your right knee into your shoulder a little. One more breath here. Keep the belly lifted. And take your left knee down. If your block's here, let's move it out of the way. Let's get a little bit fancy. This is called Ekapada Kundinyasana. So we're gonna engage the belly muscles that we worked on today. And we need to use our open hips. So we're working this right leg on top of the right shoulder. So gonna press into the right calf and bring it on top. Now move this right leg out to the right a little. I'm gonna do the cheating way where I take my left arm back and when I bend my elbows, I can rest it oops, right on my hip bone. So you don't have to do the cheater way. You can do it the other way, which I find very difficult, but it is possible. <laughs> but first thing, press onto the calf, get the leg on top of the shoulder, then move that foot out of the way. 
If you're gonna do the left arm in, bring it in towards center, then lean forward, lifting the back leg. You have to lean forward enough so the back leg will lift. And then from here, we'll make our way into Chaturanga. Inhaling, upward dog, and back to down dog. So if you wanna practice that one again, push the pause button and you can do it over. Otherwise, we will move on to the left side. Left leg up, inhale, and exhale. Bring it forward by the left thumb. Bring in the hands on the big toe side of the left foot. Remember, back knee can be up or down. Pull the left hip back, and then if you wanna take it deeper, take forearms onto your brick, or forearms onto the floor. Instead of letting this knee go out to the side today, try and bring it in. Bring the knee in toward the shoulder. And again, you can keep that knee down, but if you're lifting it, make sure you lift it. Reach through the back heel. Chest forward. Stretch. Keep the belly lifted. One more breath. All right, here we go. Ekapada Kundanyasana. I have a little more room on this side, so I'll try to straighten out my front leg. We're gonna press into the calf. Bring the shoulder under. And this might be enough today. It's a little awkward anyway. Then move this left foot out of the way, out to the side. Slide the right arm back if you're gonna use it. And scoot your weight forward, and you can stretch out the front leg if you want to. Okay, so one more time. Take your left hand to your calf. Bring the shoulder under. Walk the left foot out of the way. So your arms are just like chaturanga arms. Either you've got the elbow underneath your hip bone or not. Lean forward. It's like a teeter-totter. So you can lean forward enough so that even your head could touch. And then to chaturanga. Inhaling up. Exhaling back. A breath here. And now we're gonna come on to our knees, stepping or lightly hopping, and sitting back. We're gonna sit back between the heels. That might not work. If you've got knee issues, don't hurt your knees. You can sit up on a block and just put the block right between your feet. But it's important to make sure that your knees are not going wider than your hips. Keep them just as wide as the hips. So I'm gonna move the block again, but you don't have to. This is called Virasana. And I'm gonna add a stretch to Virasana, bringing the hands behind you with the fingertips facing the front. Inhale. Exhale, try and lift your butt off the floor and maybe let your head go back. Stretching out the fronts of the legs. Reach your butt toward the backs of the knees. And again, lift your hip bones up toward your lower ribs like we did earlier in Crescent. And then set it back down. So we're gonna do the same thing again. This time we'll go deeper if you want to. Also, you can stay sitting straight up. You don't have to lift up at all. If you're gonna go deeper, come onto your forearms behind you. And it's the same thing, lifting up. So as you lift up, your knees are gonna to wanna to go wide. So imagine you're holding a block between the inner thighs. Keep reaching your butt toward the backs of the knees, lifting hip bones toward lower ribs. Should feel a pretty nice stretch in the fronts of the quads, hopefully. And then releasing. So from here, you can come all the way back up, or you can stay where you are, or you can come into Supta Virasana. Actually, I'm gonna scoot a little bit forward because I'm running out of mat. So supta virasana, so you can stay sitting up in virasana or on your block, or part of the way down, or supta virasana is all the way down. Reach your butt toward the backs of the knees and grab your elbows. So the low back really wants to arch a lot here, so try and draw the rib cage down. It's hard. I find it difficult. Just gonna stay for a couple breaths. If it's too much for you though, please come out of it. Take care of your body. This is one of these uh, acquired tastes. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it at first, but over time. 
one more breath. Good, and then we'll come back up. So hands onto the mat, coming up, back into table, and then just stretch back into plank. Stretching back, lift the backs of the knees here, bring the chest forward. You can go right to down dog from here or chaturanga, exhaling. Inhale, press up, roll the shoulders back, and exhale to downward facing dog. And then take an inhale, we're gonna come through and sit. Exhale everything out, look up, step or lightly float and sit for bridge pose. Come on to your back. Have a block handy in case you wanna take supported bridge. Those are always nice. Feet are hips width apart, make sure the heels are right underneath the knees. Pull the belly in, lift the hip bones up into bridge. Roll the shoulders under if you like, or grab the sides of your mat and push, I mean pull, <laughs> pull your arms apart or interlace. Lengthen the chin away from the chest, but keep lifting the chest toward the chin. Spiral the thighs in toward each other. One more breath. And then release. And let's take soles of feet together, knees apart to rest a moment. Now we'll do another bridge, or you can do wheel pose, or you can grab your brick and put it at the base of the spine. So supported bridge, it looks like this. This is right at the bottom of my spine, right at the top of the hips, and it should feel comfortable. And then you know bridge pose, and then if you wanna come into wheel, again, make sure outer edges of the feet stay parallel, hands up by ears, come to the crown of the head first, line up your wrists and your elbows, and then stretch up. Spiral the thighs in for three, and two, and then bring your chin into your chest first and then lower so you don't hurt your neck. And now we'll take the right knee into the chest and extend the left leg out. Inhale here. Exhale, take it across the left side and twist. Look over the right shoulder. Turn your belly up toward the ceiling. And then back to center, drawing your left knee into your chest, extend your right leg out. Inhale, and take your twist as you exhale, bring it to the right, look over the left shoulder, try and turn your belly up toward the ceiling. Relax your shoulders and your jaw. And then back to center. Hug your knees in your chest. And then rock yourself back and forth. We're gonna come up to seated just for one forward fold. So you can roll up or you can always roll to the right and press up, that's fine too. Extending the legs in front for Dandasana. Now if your back is a little bit rounded, be sure to sit up on a blanket or a pillow. Pull your toes back, inhale, reach up through the arms, hinge from the hips, so let your butt go back as you come forward on the exhale. Pull the chest forward, inhale, and exhale to extend. So instead of letting your background, lengthen it out. And you can always use your strap. It's better to have a long spine coming forward like in, with using the strap as opposed to trying to reach the feet and, and rounding. That's not as good for your back. Take another breath here. Just slowing down the ujjayi breathing. Try and get your inhales and your exhales equal in length. Inhale to lift the head, exhale to release. We're gonna make our way right into Shavasana. So please take a few moments to get comfortable. If you find that your forehead is higher than your, or sorry, 
your chin is higher than your forehead, then set a pillow underneath your head. Let your feet flop open, bring your arms by your sides, palms up. Release your ujjayi breathing, just natural breath, quiet mind and quiet body for Shavasana. where you are, take a bigger breath in, and then let it go. Start to move your fingers and your toes, and your hands and your feet. Stretch out through your arms and legs. And then bend your knees, roll off to your right side, pausing here thanking ourselves. So thank yourself. Thank your body for showing up today. Thank yourself for coming to your mat, keeping yourself healthy and strong and flexible. And using your left hand, come up slowly. Let your head come up last for our quote. Our quote today is from Ray Bradbury. Treasure this day and treasure yourself. Truly, neither will ever happen again. Oh, let's bring our hands together. Hands to our foreheads, reminding you to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to your heart center, reminding you to have clear and loving intentions. And hands to your mouth reminding you to have clear and loving communications. Let's send this wonderful energy that you created out to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Push the like button, share this with your very best friend. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and go to fightmasteryoga.com where you can practice with me every day. And while you're there, join our mailing list and check out our summer retreats. We're going to Italy and Greece and a little stopover in Amsterdam. So I hope that you enjoyed your practice be sure to thank yourself, drink plenty of water. If you can help to soup, support Fight Master Yoga with a donation of any amount, that really keeps us going, the donations, and we are so grateful. I hope you have a great day, and you should see how cute Elmer is. I don't know if you can see him up there, but he's just enjoying a little snooze, a little kitty yoga snooze on the stairs. <laughs> have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.